Hello, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, today what I'm going to do is just to give you an idea. How are you going to prepare a BMS graphics for a chilled water system? Okay, so what I have here is a chillers or air cold chillers. I have air cold chillers here, two numbers. Then with primary circuit or primary pump set. Okay, I have three pumps here, PP1, PP2, PP3. Okay, then I have a secondary circuit or my secondary pump set here. Okay, now guys, in my previous tutorial, tutorial, I already shown you how you are going to control the chilled water pumps. Okay, so for the secondary pumps, I will be using the same approach. Okay, now the next thing that I need to do is to prepare the control logic program in uh, for my primary pumps. Then for my chillers and the butterfly bulb, okay? So here, guys, uh, I already prepared this uh, BMS graphics. So if you are having this kind of project, then maybe you will have an idea how are you going to prepare the graphics, okay? Now, I'm not saying this is the perfect graphics, okay? Now, guys, as you can see here, I have here an initial pipe uh, piping. Now, again, my piping is not, uh, I'm just doing this piping to give you a clear picture of the chilled water system, okay? Now, maybe because in the site, the mechanical people will be the one in charge in doing the pipings, okay? Based on an approved uh, shop drawing for mechanical uh, installation of this system, okay? So, this one, this piping layout doesn't reflect on actual piping in the site okay i'm just preparing this just to give you an idea how this system works okay so what i have here i have here my chilled water return line okay then i have here also my chilled water main supply line going to the building load okay so i have here a bypass line okay so you will be having here a bypass line now i will try to discuss what is bypass line in my next uh, video tutorial when I will try to simulate the operation of this, okay? So that will be my uh, target for my next video tutorial for the same system, okay? So, okay, no need to explain for the secondary pumps because I already show you this in my previous tutorial. Now for the air cold chillers, okay, when you say air cold chillers, the refrigerant, is being cooled by the condenser with condenser fan, okay? So air is being utilized to cool the refrigerant, okay? Now I have here, uh, my chiller is composed of two compressors. Actually, there are several types of compressors. Nowadays, I think they are using the screw type compressors. Before, I think uh, we have also chillers with reciprocating compressors, okay? Okay, so each chiller, there will be two uh, compressors, okay? Now, for the staging of these compressors, actually, the chillers, okay, this chiller, chiller one and chiller two, they have their own microprocessor-based controller. So their own controller will be the one to stage the uh, chillers, okay? I mean, the compressors based on the load, okay? So it will not be our uh, scope in the control logic programming. So what we need to do is just to uh, start the chillers, okay? So if you will be the one to start the chillers, then you need to get a chiller uh, status. Okay? If it is in auto or in manual, it should be in it auto, okay? So if you get the auto status, from the chiller, then there's no problem in the chiller. Then you can start the, you can open the butterfly valve, then start the primary pump, then start the chiller, okay? So first thing that you need to do here is to open this butterfly valve, then run the pump, primary pump, so that there will be flow in the cooler of the chiller, okay? Because if there will be no flow, your chiller will shut down. So that will be our scope for the control logic programming of this. Then I will be also writing a control logic program for the primary pumps, okay? So there will be two uh, control logic program. One control logic program for 
uh, that will handle the primary pumps, the butterfly bulbs, and the chillers. Okay. Then one control logic program that will handle the secondary circuit. Okay. So this secondary circuit is responsible for delivering the chilled water supply to the building load. Okay. So here I have here uh, for the chillers monitoring, I have here the chiller one entering temperature. So that will be the entering temperature and this will be the leaving temperature. So entering here, then this will be the leaving temperature. Okay. Likewise in chiller two, I will be having here entering temperature and leaving temperature here. Okay, then I will be uh, monitoring the main return temperature or main return line temperature. Okay, because based on this temperature, I will try to add and shed the chillers because there will be a time that I will be only needing one chiller to handle the building load. And there will be a time that the, we need two chillers to handle the building load, okay? Especially during summertime, okay? Now for the primary pumps, uh, we have this monitoring points, run, flow, then the uh, trip, and also we have the runtime alarm, okay? So runtime alarm is the accumulated accumulated run hours, okay? Now we have here the runtime uh, for primary pumps set point. Then I will also have here the runtime uh, for secondary pump uh, set point, okay? This uh, runtime we know already, this for maintenance purposes, okay? Then maybe for chillers, we, will, we can also, if you want, you can also uh, record the run hours of the chillers, okay? So that you can also raise maintenance alarm. Now, what else? Okay, so for the secondary pump, uh, the secondary pump will be controlled by the differential pressure transmitter installed across the chilled water main return line and supply line, okay? Then we will be having a low differential pressure set point. This one will be the one to dictate the how many pumps should run then what will be the speed reference, okay? So here the setup will be two duty, one standby for primary, uh, for secondary pump. And likewise for primary pumps, uh, it could be two pumps and two duty, one standby, okay? Now I will be writing the control logic program for the chillers and primary pumps and butterfly bulb. Now here uh, I have, already discussed with you this uh, heat exchanger with three primary uh, with three chilled water pumps so i will be using the same control logic for this secondary pump okay now uh, what else we need to monitor from this system okay so this this will be typical control and monitoring points for an hvac equipment okay so the next video tutorial will be the simulation of this based on the control logic program. Now, guys, I'm inviting you to join me in my YouTube channel if you really want to learn building management system, especially graphics creation, because I have a step-by-step -step graphics creation for my YouTube members. Then I have also this step-by-step -step control logic programming for my YouTube members, okay? Now, uh, what else can I discuss with this tutorial? Okay, guys, I think uh, I already show you a typical chilled water system, BMS graphics creation, okay? So I think these graphics will give you a clear picture of your uh, chilled water system if you have the same uh, system in your site, okay? Then this system is composed of two chillers, air cooled chillers, then three primary pumps, then three secondary pumps, okay? So the purpose of the primary pump is to pull back the chilled water supply to the building load. Then the secondary circuit pump job is to supply the chilled water requirement of the building, okay? Now, uh, the number of pumps will be two pumps for the secondary because that, that will be two duty and one standby. Now, guys, it will always uh, depend on the design. Maybe uh, the secondary pumps are not big enough to handle, two, two secondary pumps are not big enough to handle the building load. Then maybe there will be a scenario wherein these three pumps should work at the same time. Okay. Now, as I said, it will be based on the mechanical design. Okay. As a BMS engineer, you will always look 
for the approved sequence of operation for the system before trying to write the control logic program because you don't want to repeat keep on repeating your control logic program once you will not get the approved sequence of operation once you get the approved sequence of operation during testing and commissioning or during uh, checking of the system you will present it based on the approved sequence of operation so the consultant that will check your system will not give you some uh, many comments because you you just follow the approved sequence of operation they cannot question the approved sequence of operation but of course uh, you will always consider also the comments of the consultant because they are the consultant they will be the one to uh, approve the system now if they have a comment which which needs modification of your control logic program which is based on the approved sequence operation then you can always uh, ask uh, a letter from the consultant to implement the comments that he's trying to raise okay so so that you will be safe also and maybe changing your control logic program involves monitoring or there were, there might be money involved in the uh, new control logic program that they consultant is asking for okay so guys uh first part of this tutorial will be the bms graphics creation so again maybe you can create a much better looking uh graphics uh, because i am using a flat uh graphics it, it is not yet 3d because i'm using an old version of schneider software but anyway this graphics will just give you a clear picture of how are you going to uh, represent your chilled water system if you have the same uh, equipment in the site. Once again, thank you very much. And if you are new to my channel, please uh, help me in my YouTube channel so that I can reach more new engineers to if they are wishing to join an MEP company. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. You can always subscribe, you can put your comments then you can click the notification bell so that you will be notified if new uh, video tutorial is uploaded in my channel. And once again, I'm not claiming any expertise here. I'm just trying to share my knowledge and my experience uh, as a BMS engineer. So again, before I will end, uh, Santos Capellan Jr. will always say, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.